Hi, I'm Steve the Long Ash Cowboy, and today I'm enjoying a Romeo and Juliet Reserve Real 1875, as well as one of my go to's, a Brownie's Root Beer. Found at Cracker Barrel. And make sure your local location is open for takeout because the one in Pelham, Alabama is. Great food, an American tradition. Call ahead, make sure they're open. Today, I'm addressing today's guest host of the Rush Limbaugh program, Ken Matthews. Mr. Matthews, your left-wing conservatism was flaming today, really, really showing out. You spoke of someone whose name fails me and doesn't deserve a mention anyway, who said expletive the National Day of Prayer. And you wondered how far our nation has fallen. And I lay it directly at your feet, Ken Matthews, as well as Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and similar ilk. As long as you continue to ignore the fact that God is in control, and you don't put that message out, this corona thing is going to continue to spiral out of control. When you mock the Lord, as Rush Limbaugh frequently does, saying that his talent is loaned and not given, and within 60 seconds, drops a hell or a dam or whatever, as does our current occupant of the White House, our nation and world are going to continue to suffer. Is it the coronavirus itself that has us suffering? Or is it a complete lack of faith in the Lord? Because I have yet to hear Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram, and today you talk about a return to God. Today you sit there and wonder about all these kids on spring break who are living for the day, not worried about their situation. I can tell you, I am not doing fist bumps right now, and if somebody comes toward me with a fist, I'll extend a hand like this and like that. And I'll tell them, I'll fist bump you during normal times, but during a crisis like this, I only shake hands. And no one has yet asked me why. Well, I'll tell you. When I shake hands, it's an expression of faith that I'm covered by the healing hands of our Lord. And that's where you come in, Ken Matthews. Do you have the guts to start invoking the fact that we need to turn back to God that we need to express a faith in the Lord that things are going to be okay. We're not in a situation where we cannot physically travel right now. The supply chain is okay. The roads are not blocked from ice, earthquake, or whatever. They just had an earthquake in Utah, a rather dubious location. Utah, a state which has more members of a cult than it does 
followers of the cross of Christ. Think about that, Mr. Matthews. I don't know if you have a personal relationship with Christ or not, but if you do, you need to start attending to it and being a vocal voice. Rush Limbaugh once stated that he didn't want to proselytize on his program. And now he's dealing with some physical ailments, some big ones just like Congressman John Lewis. Now that may be an extremely inflaming statement on my part, but I don't care. This is a clarion call for a time of turning back to our Lord, Ken Matthews. You sit there and say, why is it that we've fallen so far away? In my last video, I read the words of Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. And they are as relevant now as they were then. They are as relevant now as they were after 11 September 2001. After Katrina. After Rita. I'm invoking Ezekiel chapter 3, or it could be 33, verses 17 through 21. Look it up. I didn't prepare. I wasn't thinking about Ezekiel. But it's either 3 or 33, and verses 17 through 21. If you don't warn your fellow man they are as you are as guilty as they are because if you warn them and they repent and turn back to the Lord they are delivered and you are delivered but if you give them a pass and don't say anything to them God's gonna hold you accountable too if you have a personal relationship with Christ He's going to deal with you on this earth. If you don't, Judgment Day is going to be even worse. So I'm putting it directly to you, Ken Matthews. You ask why our nation has fallen so far away? Well, you, sir, just got your answer. And my question to you is, what are you going to do about it? Now, you, the viewer, if you appreciate what you have just heard, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would request that you hit the subscribe and then the bell to get further notifications. And if you're that sneaking one out there who wants to continue to hit the dislike button, you go right ahead because YouTube picks up on those two. Until next time, this is the Long Ash Cowboy reminding you to keep sticks up.